Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habati fillah The question was asked As-salamu alaykum Is it possible that someone who wishes to repent from all all his major sins can he do so at once likewise if he forgets the sins he has done and fears that he has fallen into some he may not even remember but he wants to repent from all major sins so can he say a dua like Sayyid Astaghfar and repent from all of them at once first and foremost Habati Fillah uh, it's important for us to know and understand the conditions of Toba. And Imam Anawi, rahmatullahi he mentions in Baba Toba, in uh, his book Riyadh Salihin, and he says that the ulama say, "Atobatu wajibatun min kulli them, fa in kana al maasi bain al abdi wa bain Allah Taala la tataalaku bi haq al adami." So he mentions that there are three conditions. If to, uh, Toba is an obligation uh, for, um, for all sins. And that if the sin is between a servant and the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it doesn't have to do with someone else's specific rights, and we'll talk about that shortly, then it has three conditions. So this is what's important for us, these three conditions. And this will give us the, uh, set the context for dealing with this question, how, what needs to be in place to make toba. So he says uh, that the ulama, they say, the first one, the first condition, the first condition for toba is an yukla'a an ma'asiyah. The first condition is that you leave the sin. You leave the sin. So even if you have 10 different sins you're thinking about, you, you, you drink, a person, for example, drinks alcohol and they commit zina and they um, listen to music, for example. The first step in repenting from all three of those sins, whether it's three or whether it's one, is to stop. The first step is to stop. The first condition is to stop. Wathani and yandaba and yandama ala fa'liha. The second condition is that the person should feel sorrow for committing those sins. You should feel sorrow. You shouldn't be like, yeah, you know, I was smoking weed. It was real cool. And I think I'm going to stop because I know it's bad. And you, you still, you're jo joking about it. You, la you like it. You, you, you know, you, you, you don't really feel sorrow. You don't feel sorry to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your heart for what you did. Because usually this is a, a difference. Also, I want to mention a, a point is that uh, you'll find from uh, the sinner, they know usually what they've done is a sin. And so if they still remain, they still remain in the fold of Islam and they have his uh, Iman, then they feel some sorrow usually. And everybody is on a different level. Someone who is generally a religious person, they really are aware that they're doing something wrong. So they usually feel worse. For example, a sister, and I've seen in the past, uh, you know, on, on the internet and in forums and stuff, sisters who were, some sisters who were known for, uh, you know, wearing hijab, they wore niqab most of their lives and they were practicing and this and that and the other. And then they had some inclination towards lesbianism. A sister like that, when she crosses that line, she will, it will be such a devastating blow to her because this is a person maybe who's practicing a lot. They've been raised in a good home and stuff and whatever uh, shahwat that has overcome them that causes them to fall, a big falling, okay? Someone else who generally is kind of got a bunch of other sins and stuff like this, they don't usually fall as much. So it depends on your level of iman how it's going to affect you. So the point being is that it should affect you. There should be some tat theater. You should feel sorrow and sorry to uh, for for the sins that you committed. The third condition that the ulama mentioned, and yazima 
and la yauda ilaha abada. And the third condition is that you are determined to never return to those sins. That's also something we need to take a look at because often we find we we feel sorrow about certain sins. Certain sins are very difficult when they're habitual sins. Things like uh, drug abuse. This is very, it's not an easy thing to leave. Even in fact, a lot of those major sins that we are accustomed to in our societies, for example, whether it be drugs, someone who smokes weed, it's going to be, it's usually a, a gradual leaving. You know, when you stop immediately, uh, you you may stop and it may go for a week, but you in your heart you you may not even be determined to really truly leave it. Likewise, um, music music also a very difficult thing uh, to leave. So a lot of times a person will maybe they'll feel sorrow and they will still though it's not they're still in between. They're like you know I'm not going to sell my records and stuff, but. I do feel bad about it. I'm going to leave it eventually. So they take a break for a week or two weeks or whatever, but they still have their music because they haven't really determined. They haven't really met that condition, that third condition for leaving, uh, leaving uh, the third condition of Toba, which is that you are determined to not return to that sin. If you, showing determination means you get rid of it. It means you... You, you, you cast it aside. Now, if the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has it, that in the future you fall into that sin, that doesn't negate your toba. That means you made toba because you were sincere and you were determined, but something, things happen to you. You know, situations happen. A loved one died and it just made you so depressed and you went back to that sin. But you actually were very determined not to return. So when, as long as these conditions were met at that time, you were sincere about not returning to the sin, uh, sin. You were sincere about, you know, you had sincere sorrow about the sin. And you stopped doing that sin. Then, bi'idnillah, your toba will be accepted. Uh, and so I hope that that is clear. Now, if the... Sin has to do with the right of someone else. We mean, so the right of Allah, so listening to the music, you're, you're being disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands and so forth. You're not harming anyone else, but you're being disobedient to Allah. So that has to do with the right of Allah. But if it comes to the right of someone else, for example, you st uh, steal someone's phone, okay? You take their phone and... Now you're you want to make toba for that you 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 the conditions are there you you feel uh, sorrow about it you're not participating in those kind of activities anymore you're not going to be stealing and you're determined not to return those are the three conditions but since this is the right of someone else you have their right their phone that a fourth condition comes into play and that is that you return that item that you stole if you are able to do so. So that's in general. We'll just keep it at that. We're not going to talk about every single mess or every single thing that comes up with that. But this it just gives us an idea about this. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِينَ أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to make tawbah. He commands us to repent. Tubu illahi jamian. All of you repent to Allah. So Allah is making a command. And we know that whenever there's a command, that the general of that command, the origin of that command is that it is uh, something that you must do. It's obligatory. Uh, so Allah commands us all to make tawbah. And then he says, Ayu al mu'minun. Then he specifies, he says, Ayu al mu'minun. And then he tells us what? لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِهُونَ In order that you will be successful. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses the believers that if they want to be successful and they want to gain that success, that success is Jannah, that success is khair fi dunya wal akhirah in this life as well as the hereafter. If you want that, then you need to uh, make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You need to repent to Allah subhanahu 
wa ta'ala. So in general, I hope that was uh, beneficial regarding the question and answers the question that what you remember uh, from those sins, meet those conditions, be determined not to, re to go back to them, stop doing them, uh, and be uh, and you should feel sorrow in your heart about doing those sins, being disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is in general. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of Ahlul Tawbah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many, many, many sins and protect us from kufr, shirk, and nifaq. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.